All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be going over three SEO techniques you can use in 2018 and 2019 uh, to help increase your Google rankings, help increase your Bing rankings. So they're the exact techniques that I use for my own businesses. Today, the example I'm gonna use is for farmhousegoals.com. So um, what I wanna do is get more search engine traffic to this website. Um, so the first thing that I always do, so this is my technique number one, is you need to find content ideas for your business and create new content around relevant keywords. So what I like to do is use Google Ads, um, you know, create a Google Ads account, come in here to Tools, click Keyword Planner. Um, so I use the Keyword Planner all the time to find new keywords, to find keyword ideas, to expand on current keywords. Um, so uh, what I did is I just came here, I searched Farmhouse Decor, Farmhouse Furniture, and what they do is they pull up almost 2,000 different keyword ideas. That's all, you know, relevant to my business. You know, you can go by relevance, you can go by average monthly searches. I always go by relevance. Um, one of the things you might want to do when you first start your new website is take this, take whatever they say are the top 100 most relevant, and you want to just use those those keywords to kind of guide your content um, because that's what people are typing in for your business. So you don't want to create things that people aren't typing in. You don't want to solve solutions, you know, for problems people don't have. So um, once once you kind of have keywords, one thing you can also do is we have a video tutorial here, content ideas tutorial. How do you find keyword ideas and content ideas for your business? Uh, so just a short 11 minute video, you can uh, you know find it's going to be some similar ideas here, but we expand upon it. So you definitely want to look at that to find new ideas. So once you start getting new ideas for things that you want to write, you know videos you want to create, however you want to do it. Um, one of my favorite guides here is HubSpot. So how to start a blog. It says a step-by-step -step guide plus free blog post templates. Uh, we'll put the URL up here in the description. Um, but if you go down a little bit, you can see they have free templates for creating five different types of blog posts. And if you don't write that often, if you're not you know, accustomed to writing blogs all the time, this is something you definitely want to do um, because it's, you know, the how-to post, the list-based post, the curated collection post, the slide share presentation post, and the news jacking post. So these are all templates. You just click on this URL, come here, um, you know, you can see it, just download it for free. So just come in here, free download. Absolutely recommend doing that because it's going to give you some, you know, some ways to kind of write more content for your business, which is how you're going to help yourself rank higher in Google. So... Um, one idea for that I've done before here, so best farmhouse coffee tables. So this was done, you know, using the exact same process I just showed you. You know, I went to the Google Keyword Planner. You know, I found some different types of keywords here. One of them was farmhouse coffee tables. So what I did was I wrote this article, best farmhouse coffee tables. And you could see a lot of content here. Um, scroll down, images that go off to different products. And, you know, probably about 30 products there. So... Uh, just a quick little blurb, how to choose farmhouse coffee tables, and then a conclusion. So it's not completely done yet. So uh, this is going to take us into technique number two. So once you kind of get to 10, 25, 50, 100 blog posts, oh, those are all kind of different milestones. What you want to do is go back to your blog posts and improve them. Um, so I'm using WordPress here, so I'm going to go into edit post. So if I look at farmhouse coffee tables, uh, one thing you might want to do is, you know, maybe edit some of the things up here. Maybe you take some, maybe I take some of this and move it down so the products are featured higher in the top. Um, scroll down to the bottom. Um, so all I have is a couple quick paragraphs after all the products. So maybe one thing I want to do is add a section for, you know, farmhouse coffee table inspiration. And let's just say I pull, you know, five different designs. And I talk about each design for a couple sentences or two, and then I link off to each design, you know, on separate websites, wherever they are. If they're my own designs, maybe I just, you know, credit myself, whatever it is. Um, so it's just extra things that you can add to it, and you'll see the word count going up and up. 592 is not a huge number of words. Um, so when you're trying to get content to rank, you need to write, you know, you need to write at least a thousand words is kind of my, where I start with, but it really depends on what you're trying to present. So uh, the, the ultimate thing with, with presenting content is you need to create the most useful and relevant content to people who are trying to find it. Um, so once you kind of update things like this, so let's just pretend I added this whole entire section here. I'm going to get rid of it for now just so it's not. Um, what I'll do is I'll come to the top here. Um, so you can see published on, it's going to say June 24th. 
what you could do is just update the date. So I'll just set it to today's date, um, so or yesterday's date, one or the other. Um, so I'll publish on October 24th, click update. And now it's gonna change the date to October 24th from what it was currently. So Google can kind of see, okay, this person not only updated the content, because Google is gonna see every time you do a revision here, but you are also changing the date. So it's saying, okay, they completely updated this content so that it's, that it's brand new. Um, if I had a PPC advertising blog, which I do, and let's just say I had, you know, a hundred different articles that were ranking high in 2015. They're they're great articles. They're they're really relevant. If I don't update those articles, if I don't change the dates, if I don't do anything like that, then eventually my rankings are going to fall because everything changes. You know, in 2015, Google had a different logo. Google Ads had a completely different interface. Uh, the features were completely different. The bidding strategies were different. The ad types were different. Um, even the ad extensions were different. So if you don't update all those things and you don't, you know. One thing you can do is just, let's say I had Google AdWords ad extensions or Google ad extensions, however you want to uh, phrase it. What you can do is just, you know, every six months, go update that post, make sure it's up to date, and that's it. It's not easy, but it's also worth it for the traffic that you're going to get from that post. Um, so you need to continuously update these things. And that's just one of my, my favorite ways to improve your content. Um, to expand on this, the other thing you can do, <clears throat> come over to the Google AdWords Keyword Planner, just like before. Take the keyword you already had, so farmhouse coffee table, and what they're going to do is pull the most relevant keywords that they think for farmhouse coffee table. So rustic coffee table, reclaimed wood coffee table, wood coffee table. So if you took all these different things, you know, I came back to my article, maybe I do, you know, more about reclaimed wood, you know, coffee table. So you kind of just expand upon the keywords that Google thinks are most relevant to your main one. Um, the other thing you can do is just come right into Google, search your keyword, scroll to the bottom, and they're going to pull up the eight, you know, what they think are the eight most relevant searches to it. So that's very, very helpful when you're trying to, you know, just expand upon the content you already have. And, you know, once you start building 10, like I said, 10, 25, 50, 100 articles, once you start building those types of blog articles to your website, what you want to do is go back and continuously improve them. And, you know, this isn't, relevant for every type of business. If you're a news website, you know, maybe you just put news out and forget about it and just keep putting news out, news out, news out. But for something where you're trying to rank for keywords consistently, this is what you have to do. You have to make sure that, you know, everything is relevant, everything is updated and, you know, you're not falling behind other competitors. So um, technique number two is going to be edit and optimize your content, uh, which builds upon technique number one, which is, you know, find relevant keywords and create content for your business. So technique number three is going to be the Google Search Console, just basically using this to not only improve content, but find new content ideas. So I have here is I have my website open in Google Search Console. It's showing the last 28 days, so 337 clicks. It's not a whole lot. It's a little bit over 10 clicks per day. I definitely want to get that higher. Um, so what you want to do is scroll down. You can see search queries that are bringing people to your website and also getting impressions in Google Search. You can see which pages you know, are getting the most clicks and the most impressions as well. Um, so you can just kind of see, you know, what's driving things to your business. Um, so I use this for the Google search console in two different ways. One is to find pages that exist that are already ranking. So fire clay farmhouse sinks doing pretty well, 22 clicks in the last 28 days. You know, maybe I go there and I try to add, you know, just like I showed you, try to add and improve this article a little bit, but generally what I'll do is I'll scroll down a little bit. I don't, usually do shop pages. I kind of focus on my main blog article type pages. We'll go 25. So right here. So cast iron farmhouse sinks, eight clicks in the month, 190. Not terrible. Farmhouse coffee tables, three clicks in the month, 172. So if I took these two articles and said, okay, I'm going to spend an hour on each and I'm just going to improve them. I'm going to add more images. I'm going to add more products. I'm going to add, you know, just more relevant information for people who are looking for those types of products. Um, what it's going to do is help increase my rankings. So this is one way I use the Google Search Console is to find pages, you know, kind of to expand on step number two to find these pages that are ranking, that are getting clicks, that, you know, where there's some areas of opportunity. Um, the other way I use the Google Search Console, so if we scroll up here a little bit and click on search queries, um, so I'm going to pull the top 25. So you can use this to find you know, all sorts of different keywords, content ideas for your business, because you're already ranking for a lot of these keywords here. So you can see, you know, just brand name sinks, um, you know, farmhouse vessel sinks. So I don't have any, any page on my website about that. So that's something I can create a page about. 
If I keep scrolling down, farmhouse curtains, currently working on that page. Obviously, farmhouse coffee tables, farmhouse coffee table. Um, but, you know, just keep scrolling down. I see rustic wood bathroom vanity. So if I created a whole entire page with rustic wood bathroom vanities, just like I did with coffee tables, it'd probably rank higher because it's not as competitive as coffee tables is. Now, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I see something like log cabin Christmas ornaments. So I'm filming this in October. So right now I've been putting out a lot of Christmas decor type articles. So maybe I say, okay, let me take this log cabin Christmas ornaments. I'm already getting 41 impressions for it. I can definitely get more than that. I can definitely, you know, drive some clicks here. The whole goal for me is for each page to drive, you know, five, 10 clicks per day. It's not easy to do, um, but you need to kind of find all sorts of pages uh, and keep adding them to your website so that you can just keep driving those search engine clicks, which is going to drive you revenue. But I take a log cabin Christmas ornaments. I come over to my website, add new posts, log cabin Christmas ornaments, check Christmas farmhouse or farmhouse Christmas decor. You know, I start writing whatever it is. Maybe this is where you come back to our free, our five free blog post templates. So this is, this is kind of how my whole process works. Um, you know, find new content ideas, create relevant content around those keywords, um, and continue to add to them, continue to, you know, edit and improve them. And if you're having trouble writing, if you're not sure, you know, how to get started, one thing you can do is use a service like iWriter.com. It's, you know, pretty affordable. You can get 500 word articles from good writers, you know, 20 bucks, something like that. It's not terrible. So this is something that you definitely want to use to, to basically add new content to your business continuously. So uh, these are the three SEO techniques I use the most for my business. You can definitely use them for yours. Um, just, you know, find new keyword ideas, create content around those keywords continuously improve that content, you know, over and over and over again. And then last but not least, just use the Google search console, find pages that you can improve, find search queries that you're not optimized for. And, you know, just continue to try to grow this search engine traffic over time. Just understand that search engine optimization is not something that happens overnight. So what you're doing this month, you'll see kind of come to fruition next month. What you're seeing next, what you do next month will come to fruition the month after that. So, um, you know, I can tell if I have a good month where I'm adding tons of content to my website that my search engine rankings show that. Um, this website, I haven't added a ton to it over the last three months. So if you look at just the last three months of clicks and impressions, uh, you can see kind of a drop off here. So, you know, kind of around 2430, now down to 1520. So now I'm coming back onto the website and, you know, making sure that I'm adding what I need to do so that it continuously improves. So you can see this is what happens when you don't add content for a couple months and hopefully in about a month or two I'll show you what happens when you do add content because we're adding tons to this website right now so uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, thank you for subscribing to our channel and also for watching this video